video, I am going to try to make any lipstick matte. Um, this is a brand new product from Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Insta Matte, and this thing claims that it can make any lipstick a mattified lipstick. Now, I'm a little bit skeptical. What can I say? I'm a critic and a skeptic, a traitor, a traitor in a second. That was a music reference, by the way, to Forever the Sickest Kids. Um, anyways, um, I have tried so many times to make some of my favorite lipsticks matte. Being a beauty hoarder, I have a whole bunch of lipsticks that are shiny or creamy, and the current trend right now is matte lipsticks, and matte lipsticks do look really nice. And I've tried putting powders over them, I've tried using tinted powders, I've tried using different primers, and I've never really found anything that works for all of my lipsticks. Now, I am a little bit skeptical, I don't know if this will work, um, but I just wanted to give you a first impressions because I have not used it yet and I'm going to open it up and um, see how this goes. And I have three different lipsticks here. I have a regular Smashbox lipstick, um, I have a MAC lipstick, which is Shy Girl, which is Cream Sheen, which is a little bit more hydrating, and then I have this Yves Saint Laurent lipstick, they're super, super hydrating. And it does say that it's not for lacquers or for glosses, which makes sense. Um, I wouldn't expect this to be able to make a lip gloss mattified. The first ingredient is dimethicone. It has some glycol. So dimethicone is really amazing at smoothing. So this will also be great if you have, um, or it should be great if you have wrinkles or things like that. Dimethicone is in a lot of primers and it really makes your skin look super smooth. It's like a filter. So this actually goes on over your lipstick. So you put your lipstick on first. So, so the first one I'm going to try it out with is this MAC Cosmetics Shy Girl. Look at that that's been destroyed um, but this is a really common color it's a cream sheen it's great fun fact I used to call myself Cassandra cream sheen I had a channel before this that I never like used but it was Cassandra cream sheen and I stalked all of the youtubers and that's where I originally learned makeup tricks because my mom was a tomboy and I needed to learn how to cover up my acne so yeah that's when I really got started into doing cosmetics and stuff and then I was like wow everyone's perfect and I'm not huh? I'm just gonna go like die in a corner here that was upsetting, but then I figured out my own makeup, and I was like, wow, maybe I shouldn't be using eyeshadow as foundation. Yeah, I used dollar store eyeshadow as foundation. Big mistake. This is what it is without any of the Instamat. As you can see, it is definitely a hydrating finish. So now I'm going to put this on, and it looks like it has um, this little applicator, so you apply it just from the tube. It's kind of a clear pasty. It really does look just like a primer. It feels a little bit waxy. It's not sticky though, mm, and it actually feels kind of dry, um, but I'm actually quite pleased. This actually does feel a little bit drier, and I can actually touch my lip and nothing comes back. Normally if I did that with a MAC cream sheen, uh, something would come back a little bit. Wow, so for the MAC cream sheen, which is a fairly hydrating formula, um, this actually works. I don't know how long wearing it'll be, but I'm actually kind of impressed. It doesn't taste funny. When I lick my lips, it kind of feels like there's a waxy sealant over it. Uh, but when I lick my lips, um, it doesn't feel like lipstick. You know what I mean? Um, it almost feels like chapstick. Mm, like you have a little sealant over. That worked out really well. Better than I was expecting. All right, I'm going to remove this and get the next color on. Next, I'm going to go in with this Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. Um, this is a Rouge Voluptue. That thing that I can never pronounce because uh, I didn't take French, I took Spanish. Um, but yeah, this is super hydrating, super creamy. Um, it's kind of balmy, and it does say that the Insta Matte is not meant for lip balms. Um, but we're just gonna see how this goes because this is like the mixture between a stick and a balm. Super creamy, super hydrating. And if you have not tried this out, go to Sephora and demand um, to try out a sample because it's amazing. Mm. This is like super hydrating. So can you see my lips? Let's see. Super, super hydrating, super creamy. I'm gonna put this on and see how this goes. This kind of feels like they're mixing together and this could be the formula. It feels like, this is a very, very light lipstick. This almost feels like um, it's turning this a little bit more waxy. As you can see, it is more mattified, um, but there's still a little bit of sheen. For this one, it more mixed in and I'm wondering if that is because of the formula. Mm because this is a very hydrating formula. It has made it a little bit more matte though. So it's not a perfect fit, but all right, that's what it is. Now, this is a pigment lipstick, so this is super, super pigmented. This is called Inspiration. Um, it's the Be Legendary lipstick, bright pink. It's beautiful. I love this color, by the way. Mm. If you need a pink for spring, this is it. You can see it's not shimmery or shiny, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. See, this feels like lipstick without it. it like it has that lipsticky, 
You can feel the texture through your lips with lipstick. With this, you cannot feel the texture of your own lips. That's what it is. Alrighty. And that actually works like a dream. My lips feel completely matte. They feel a little bit heavier. This does have more of a weight to it, so keep that in mind because you're adding another layer of product. Um, but this actually works shockingly well. It actually works best over the Smashbox lipstick, which would make sense because it's Smashbox and Smashbox. They probably, you know, coordinate formulas together. Worked flawlessly over MAC, so if you have MAC products or similar formulas to the cream sheen, it should work perfectly. Um, then the Yves Saint Laurent, it wasn't spot on, but I was actually extremely surprised that it worked as well as it did. Um, so yeah, this is bomb diggity. Would I recommend it? Um, if you have a lot of lipsticks and you're looking to make them matte, absolutely yes. Um, if you're someone who already has a ton of matte lipsticks and a ton of regular lipsticks, you probably don't need it. Um, but this is really a beauty hack or a way to save money because you're kind of getting twice the product if you have regular lipsticks. So that's what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this little first impressions. Um, I will see if there's any other information I can give to you. If you guys have questions, hit me up on the Snapchat, tweet me a couple times on Twitter, poke me a couple times on Facebook, um, and join the Magical YouTube family if you haven't already subscribed. So also I do post regularly on my app. If you have questions for me, that's where I try to interact and engage. So my app is Cassandra Bankson. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, what else? I post new videos every Monday and every Thursday. Sometimes I forget, but usually I post them. Sometimes occasionally, all the time. Whee! Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for chilling with me. Um, let me know if you've tried this product, what you think, and I cannot wait to talk to you all in the next video. <sighs> love you guys. Bye. You know, the pimples were not invited, but they just decided to show up anyway. So I want to talk to you um, a little bit about kind of how it happens and why it happens and why making out can cause acne. And then my tips and tricks to making sure that a makeout session does not lead to a breakout session.